Hey, what's going on, everybody? Jay Cruz here. This is episode 10 of me reacting to your pedal boards. Let's get it. This is episode 10. This is a huge moment for us. This is a big. I never thought we'd even get this far. If you're new around here, some point last year, I put a post out on social media saying, hey, send me your pedal boards so I could react to them. And I honestly thought maybe one or two max would send a pedal board over and then I'd have to maybe pick some pedal boards to react to on social media of some sort. But man, I got flooded with emails and messages with people sending me their pedal boards to react to and to the point where it took me so long to catch up and I still haven't technically caught up on the backlog. I'm just so thankful and grateful to every single one of you who have participated in one of these videos so far. So I've got some new pedal boards here to react to. I'm very, very excited about it. And without further ado, let's get started. This first pedal board was submitted by Ken Goodman via email. And he sent over uh, a beautiful pedal board here. It looks to be like a temple board. I'm not sure of what size, but it looks to be pretty lengthy. You have a steel string, uh, which I'm not sure if that's from Vertex or if it's some sort of clone of the Vertex stuff. You have the Joyo Power Tune. Nice to see some cool pedals like that from a company that is not quite as expensive, but is clearly getting the job done. The Spectrum, which is a pedal I'm unfamiliar with by Source Audio. The Octavator, I believe is how you say that. It's a fuzz and octave pedal by Mutron. Very, very cool. Never seen that pedal before, so I'm very interested in hearing your thoughts on that. I love two-in-ones. It looks like that's either an Angry Charlie or just an old-school Charlie Brown. I don't remember which one had the logo, but either way, love it. You have that amazing carbon copy and Echo Sex, which I've actually never played before. Very interested in that. And... Are you rocking an actual Klon Centaur on there? I can't believe we're featuring an actual Klon on the on the on the channel. I'm very very impressed by that. You have the Cali 76, one of my favorite compressors out there, the Digivibe, the Golden by UA, the Deco, the Vertigo, but all of those pedals are amazing, but clearly the show stealer here is the Klon. So I don't want to know what you paid for it, but it's so cool that you actually have one. So thanks again, Ken, for sending this over. This next pedal board was submitted via Instagram through direct message. And I believe your name is either Sade or Cade. I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing it, but you have a beautiful pedal board. It looks like you've got everything in some sort of live-in flight case, and it just looks so nice and, and well put together. So you're starting off with the Dunlop mini volume pedal, a Boss ES5 loop switcher, the RV500, you have the Spark, you have the Keeley Compressor, a J Chess Bender, the Pog, the Protein, all these amazing products, the Iridium, the Volante, but the one that I'm looking at the most on your pedal board right now is the Giga Delay. It's just one of those products that floors me that it's still on pedal boards to this day. And it's not because it's not good, it's just because it's that good that I just can't believe it survived the test of time when there's just so many other products that have quote unquote surpassed it, but it just gets the job done. It's a very special pedal. Thank you so much for submitting this pedal board. I'm very, very glad you did. Thank you. This next pedal board came via Instagram from Rogelio Mendoza, all the way from Panama. And dang, dude, you have a small but effective pedal board with some really hard hitting products on here. You have one of my favorite overdrives on there, the JHS Morning Glory going into a soul food. You just cannot go wrong with that combination. Another spark, that's cool to see a good and faithful Strymon timeline. Love to see it. The 1981, you're tuning with a Polytune. You even got your Altoids tin case, nice. The Julia, and of course, the Big Sky. Absolutely everything done right on this pedal board, and it just looks phenomenal. And I know you're getting good tones from this thing. So thank you so much for submitting. I can even see your Strymon power supply peeking through there, the pedal board. So yeah, nicely done, great pedal board. This next submission was sent to me by Jason. It's weird saying my own name. Most people don't know that J stands for Jason. It looks like you're using a pedal train, one of the newer versions, I could be wrong, but you're starting off with the Line 6 Relay. That's the wireless unit going into a mini wah, a wah pedal. We have a full size volume pedal, VP Junior, love to see it. Polytune going into the Dark Matter by TC Electronics. You have the Mod Workstation, love that thing. My only complaint about the Mod Workstations from Keeley is that they're so small, so the knobs are so close together. I used to bang into them a lot, but I love 
There's three in one pedals like that. They're amazing. You've got the Flashback, the Hall of Fame, nothing wrong with those products. You have another Keeley three in one using the Tone Workstation. The Keeley Hook Reverb, that's one I've never seen or played before. So that's what I need you to comment below and let me know what you think. Give me your thoughts. Let us know how you've been using that and how you have how you like it and what kind of tones you're getting from it. And then of course you're using the HX Stomp. Amazing pedal board. I know you're getting good tones from this thing. Nicely done. Thank you so much, Jason. Episode 10 has shown us some amazing pedal boards, but it wouldn't be right to end this thing without checking in with the only person who has made every single episode of me reacting to your pedal boards. And that is the great and mighty Sir Aaron. Sanchez. And I think Aaron's going to break the internet with this one. He sold his entire pedal board for a Fractal FM9. That's right. Aaron went full unit on us and has gotten rid of, of the of the individual pedals. And uh, I got to say, I'm kind of disappointed. No, I'm kidding. Clearly, I'm not disappointed. This is a great choice. I think that all-in-one units can, can really solve a lot of problems, especially from a functional standpoint traveling makes it a lot easier i myself struggled a little bit with the uh, fractal stuff i've tried them in the past but i think that much like a lot of products today they're improving and constantly bettering their products so i'm very curious to hear the kind of tones that you're getting out of this thing and clearly when you make this type of leap and investment you really need to take some time to make sure that you really cultivate your sound so i'm pretty sure that you're probably still working on it the one thing i will say is that it's a, a real fun to dig into their editing system and the way that they operate it's just very cool it lets you dive in in a lot of different ways and create and cultivate amazing tones so i'm very positive that you because you make everything sound good you're making it sound even better than than i could ever make it so congratulations on the switch um, but something tells me you will probably end up going back to pedals at some point just because you're crazy, just like me. Well, that wraps up episode 10 of me reacting to your pedal boards, a celebratory episode, the big 10. I'm very proud of it. If you're interested in submitting your pedal board to be featured on one of these episodes, you can visit my website at jcruiseproject.org for all contact information. But you can email me directly at jcruiseproject at gmail.com. You can find me on social media pages and send me a direct message there, such as Instagram, TikTok, Vero, and Facebook. Everything is at J Cruz Project. Please do not click away without supporting the channel by just showing some love. Like this video, subscribe, hit the bell notification icon so you get an alert every single time I upload a video. Thanks again for watching and until next week.